Hey, yo, Go Format players, it's Skilled Brown Magician here, and I have a showcase duel, and it's featuring my Fire Spirit Turbo deck, and I just figured I wanted to show off this duel because it was a really good one. <clears throat> All right, so I'm playing uh, the version of my Fire Spirit Turbo deck that I posted in the deck profile. I'll make sure to include it in the description below but it was a really fun game and you kind of get to see some of the grind potential that this deck has because I don't open up the best but I'm able to make it work and you can kind of see uh, some of the rationale behind some of my plays with the deck okay so I get Thunder Dragon so that's nice that I have that in hand and then I just decide on setting solemn and I just pass. He gets graceful and that's not really a concern to me. So I let it go. Then he does Rhoda and he gets Ben K. So now I know what I'm up what I'm up against. And I feel already confident because I know it's an equip spell deck, so I know I can bounce back with true nade. Luckily I get Cyber Jar. So I just set it and he doesn't have the out. So he goes for his big play. And unfortunately, goes mage power on Ben K. So Ben K is at, uh, I think, 3K. <clears throat> and he can attack twice. But Cyberjar spoils his plan. And you can see I get a pretty good draw off of Cyberjar. Like I mentioned in the deck profile, Cyberjar is so good for this deck. And it's even better when your opponent's running it too, because now they just add to the combo. So I got some really good cards off of that. Now I have a giant true nade and I have a snatch steel and a gilla in hand. So I can already go into one of my two tribute monsters next turn. But the bad thing is, I know that he has a set cyber jar and he has five back row. So he has a set cyber jar and I have to think, how am I going to play this? Because... I can't go into my play if he has Cyber Jar and I don't have Knock. So I decide what I end up doing is I'm going to clear field first. And all I want to do is I just want to get rid of Cyber Jar. Because I can use Snatch Steel, steal his guy, and now draw five. He gets a draw too, obviously, but I already have two Solemns in hand. So. The thing that's interesting here is that he ends up special summoning both of them face down and it's because he sees that I get brain control. So he ends up flipping Ben K face down. But now you can see I just have an absolutely busted hand and what's even worse for him is I haven't normal summoned yet. So we go Gillosaurus and now of course, he's going to bring out a Ben K in defense, but brain control. So I swipe it. I have two monsters on my side of the field. Tribute one off for Jinzo. Then I go card destruction. And the reason that I go card destruction is because I'm actually trying to hit a specific card. Because I don't know if you guys noticed, he actually didn't. He didn't shuffle these back to hand before he set them. So I know that this one is uh, Kotetsu. And I know that I have lights and darks in grave. So what I'm trying to hit is BLS. And I don't hit it off of card destruction. I figure 12 cards left. Let's go. Pot agreed. And I get it. The very last card. So now I know. I can banish, banish. And then uses effect and I snipe the Kotetsu. So now he can't get his uh, snatch steal next turn. <clears throat> so I get rid of that and then he goes giant true nade back. He goes back to me. And I don't know why I don't uh, true nade it. Oh, so here I end up having to, I forgot I had way too many cards in my hand from last turn. So I had a discard too. So I end up discarding uh, a couple cards. 
yeah, so he tells me I have to discard one more. And then my laptop died here, but I'm back. So <clears throat> I have to discard one more. He had counted it, and then he used Exile. He brought out Exile to snipe my BLS. And then he goes into his Ben K play, and this is where things get really interesting. Double Axe of Despair. He's at 2,500, but he can attack three times. So he swings over Jinzo, swings over Gilla, and then hits me for 25 directly. And fortunately, I live. But it's pretty close. And then I think, what does he end up? Okay. Oh, yeah, he got rid of all of his traps because of card destruction. So now I already kind of know I can go into some crazy stuff here. So I clear the back row to just be preemptive about it before I go into Prima. I know I could have went, yeah. So I only, I could have went Giant True Nade, or I could have went Prima first, Giant True Nade, Prima again, but I actually didn't have the light points. I'm actually at 800 right now. So I'm able to get back BLS, and it's nice because now he only has 500. I can attack twice. So I get a big chunk, and I have my Solemns. So I'm hoping two Solemns can hold me over until the next turn. I protect it. My first Solemn, no, I don't think he, oh, and then I have to, uh, I Solemn his Prima here because he was going to bring back his Exile. So I'm at 200 life points. He sets his Magician of Faith. And then I already know it's pretty much game because I had a knock in the hand. And I'm just going to swing. <clears throat> and I go for game there. And he ends up not having anything. I had to grind this one out, but um, just a draw potential, especially when your opponent drops a Cyber Jar, it just really gets really crazy and I love when you just have so many cards in hand in this deck because there's so many interesting things that you can do and just the power of giant true nade being able to clear their back row and knowing that you can go in safely is so huge in a combo deck but also being able to retain hand advantage right and still have a lot of cards in hand despite pulling up big combos so really fun duel uh came down to the wire and I was able to clutch it out just wanted to showcase it, and in the future, I want to showcase more of the duels that I catch while I'm uh, testing these decks. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.